Hey YouTube, Keelan back at it again with a new video. So this week we are looking at how you can get a free ISBN number. So if you don't know me and this is your first time to my channel, my name's Keelan, I'm a young adult author and I just pulled my own hair, but my debut novel is coming out on August 31st. High Wings is the series title the book title is going to be coming later and today we're going to be talking about how to get free ISBN numbers. So ISBN numbers are like unique identifiers for your book. I am not going to spend too much time on screen. I'm going to take you onto my computer and we are going to go, go through that. Now the whole caveat to this is unfortunately to get the free ISBN it is a fee free thing for Canadians so you do have to be Canadian but if you are Canadian, you know, keep watching till the very end because I'm going to show you from beginning to end how to get that ISBN number. All right, all my Canadian people out there. So to get your free ISBN from the government of Canada, you go to Library and Archives Canada. So you could actually just Google ISBN Canada and this is what comes up. Or you can look up for the Library and Archives Canada. There is this long URL. I will post it in the description box below so you know where to go. I'm not gonna go through this entire page. However, I would highly recommend that you do. Now, I'm not one for reading pointless information, but none of this is pointless, and I think you should thoroughly read through it before you proceed, but there's a few areas that I wanna to touch on, particularly this first, what it means to be a Canadian publisher, and these are the people who kind of qualify for those free ISBN numbers. So what qualifies as a Canadian publisher is you make a publication available in Canada and publishes from an official office or business located within Canada. Indicates that the public materials place of publication when it is given is within Canada and has at least 75% of its employees based in Canada. If you are a self-published author and you are Canadian, this applies to you. So the next part we're going to skip down to is what is an ISBN number and why do you think you may want one? It stands for the International Standard Book Number, and it's a unique identifier essentially for your book. Now, this is especially important to note, you do need a different ISBN for each format, and I'll get to that down the line when we get to the request for the ISBNs. They assign a unique um, number to each title, and this is what helps people look up books and essentially have them registered. Now, there are some services that provide a ISBN. I personally want to have my own because it identifies me as the publisher and whatnot, and there's quite a few pros to having your own ISBN. So that is just a little bit about what it is, but essentially it is a book number, and it's like the official book number. See? Or self-publisher. Okay. Um, sorry. Sorry. No, we want to go down to number six. Those are just kind of the shorter versions, but like I said, you do want to read through all this. So how can I obtain an ISBN in Canada? Unlike other countries, you do not have to pay. There are multiple ways to do this in Canada. You can do the online system, which is what I'm going to show you today, or you could give them a call or send them an email. They are free to Canadian publishers and are issued within 10 business days. So that's really important. You do not get them right away. If you're going to publish your book tomorrow, don't be looking for an ISBN today because I actually think mine took closer to two weeks. Oh, I guess 10 business days. So that makes sense. Oh, and if you hear a noise in the background, it's my computer because my computer is freaking out. So once you click, I'm just going to show you again what I clicked. ISBN Canada online system. Once you get there, you know, you read this notice and then you click, yes, I accept. And it will bring you to the Canadian ISBN kind of account. And this is where you request. So you just put in your name here, John Doe, French name, John Doe. No, I'm kidding. John Doe. Um, is the publisher also the author creator? This is the self-publishing piece. Yes, no. If your publishing house is different than your name, I think you put no, but you might want to call and confirm that. Contact name, contact job title. Um, Ellen Rivers. Sorry, in this case, because John Doe's different than me. Publisher. You can put like self-publisher, whatever you want to do there. Language of correspondence, English or French, obviously. Mailing address, 
I apparently I have the Phoenix Home 2 Suites in here, so this is in Arizona, but we're just gonna go with that because Google had it loaded, so that makes it easy. You put in your mailing address here. This is not a mailing address. City, province, you select one. Obviously this is in Arizona, so I don't know why. It just popped up and it made my life easier than typing everything in. Telephone number, yeah, telephone number is required. This is a fax number. I don't know why they have like the full word out there. And then your email, which is super important because this is where you're going, this is where they're going to send all the information to access your ISBN online account. You can put a website in here too. You can put a publisher former name if the publisher had a previous name, other name used to publish under. This is all just additional information. So if you have like another pen name or something like that, you can put one in there. You can click oop, add to add another name. So you can add multiple names you've published under. Again, this is contact person information. So I mean, you know how to fill in your contact name, contact job title. This is if you're requesting ISBNs on behalf of a publisher. So let's say you're not the owner of your publisher. This is where you go in. If you have previously had ISBNs assigned, you put that here. I personally have not. And then you estimate how many ISBNs that you will need in the next three years. Remember, this is so important. You need a different ISBN. If you're doing hardcover, softcover, and ebook, you will need three ISBNs. So make sure that you take that into account. If you are going to be publishing 15 books in the next three years, that's a whole ton of books, but three years, 15 books, you're publishing five books a year, each needs three ISBNs, you know you're at 45. Like, make sure that you accurately track that there. Here's a little bit about the publication information. So you can select, you know, what is it? Is it a book? If you're requesting multiple ISBNs, just put one in. Um, and then, you know, title, subtitle, and put in the publication date. And then you click Submit. So once you click submit, you are going to go into a bit of a waiting period. Now I'm going to open up my Gmail and show you the email that I received from ISBN Canada. Okay, so once you submit that form through the Create an ISBN Canada account that we just went through, sped through in the Library and Archives of Canada, you will receive an application form successfully submitted, just confirming that they have you received your application. In approximately two weeks from then, you will receive your login information for your ISBN Canada account. So it comes in an email like this. It's normally going to come about two weeks later. It's got your username. It's got your password. I have since changed this password just so everybody knows. And this is where you can go to the website. So you just follow the link. I accidentally scrolled down here and you could see my address. So I am not gonna scroll down any further. But then to get your ISBN, it's really easy. You go to manage logbook. And again, oh no, you can't see it. I just didn't wanna scroll down because I didn't want you to see my address. And then you can click on assign new, SB, new ISN, ISBN, wow, ISBN. Then you pick the product form. I personally, I'm making one right now, guys. I personally am going to pick the, do they have hardcover on here? Hardcover book. And then you put in the publication date, August, publication status, forthcoming notes, send ISBN confirmation by email because they like everything by email. And then you click save. And then if you go back to manage logbook, there it is right there with your ISBN number. So that's how easy it is. You just, there's just a little bit of a waiting game. 
One last quick note I wanted to highlight, under the terms of Library and Archives Canada, Canadian publishers are to provide copies of publication to Library and Archives Canada that are being sold and distributed to the general public. That includes print on demand, even with print runs of 100 or less. So you just need to send them one and you can learn more about that uh, information on the legal deposit right here. So everything is in that one handy dandy email. And maybe I'll make a second video on this. So if you want that, leave me a comment in the comment box below. So quick recap, Library and Archives Canada about ISBN Canada. Make sure you read everything on this form. Then you go to create an ISBN Canada account. You accept. You fill in the form all the way to the bottom. You submit. You wait about 14 days. You will receive an email which will allow you to access the ISBN Canada site. And then you just go to manage logbook. I am no longer logged in, but you go to manage logbook and create your ISBN there. I've got it right here. So it comes back up, manage logbook, assign a new ISBN number, and then your ISBN pops up right there. All right. Well, so that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe and like button, and I hope this made sense. All right. Talk to you later.